Thanks for staying with us on South Africa tonight. Team Kubega next hashes participation in next year's UCI World Tour is in doubt. Uh, the team is currently searching for much needed sponsorship for next season in order to secure the UCI World Tour license. Now to find out the latest on these developments, I'm joined via Zoom tonight uh, by team principal Doug Ryder. Good evening, Mr. Ryder. Thanks for taking the time to chat to me. I mean, here we are again in the very same position you were in last year. Why such a struggle to secure sponsorship for the team uh, long term? Thank you very much. Yes, I mean, it's been a, it's been a tough year. COVID, as we know, is, has hurt lots of things, I think. And, uh, you know, lots of organizations are focused on their staff and their people, which is the right thing to do. But yes, as a team, looking for sponsorship it's it didn't come at, at a good time for for that and i think all lots of sports are struggling with with funding and and uh you know but we we have some opportunities that we're working on and have been working on for months and we're hoping that we can conclude those in time so that we can continue on this incredible journey we had a great year with nick lamini going to the tour de france and to the tokyo olympic games and this team has made such a big impact through Kubeka into the community so yeah we we, we definitely need to continue for sure uh, you had a long-term partnership with South African companies, most notably MTN and Dimension uh, Data. Have you engaged any of South African companies to get involved? We absolutely have. But, you know, South African companies have got, which we completely understand, lots of other focuses, you know, around COVID and testing and, you know, getting, you know, investing in, in the healthcare system in South Africa to make sure that we can do the right thing for, for South Africans. So... And there's lots of great organizations that are supporting Quebeca in the communities and, and the bike distribution ceremonies and, you know, and events the same. So, yes, we, we have approached many South African companies, and, um, but there's, you know, at this point in time, a lot of them have just these other priorities at the moment, and, and a team like ours is, is not one of them at, at this stage, sadly. I mean, why can we not be a priority? I believe that uh, cycling in South Africa can become, of course, a symbol of national identity. As you know, a lot of the world's best uh, cycling teams, one of them being uh, Jumbo Visma in Netherlands and, you know, Duconic Quickstep in Belgium, have literally zoned in on their national teams to make them the pride of that country. So where is the missing link once more, Mr. Ryder? I think cycling is still a... Is some, is you know, some people call it a Cinderella sport in South Africa. You know, football is big and track and field and, and rugby and cricket, you know, but I think cycling is, 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 is perceived by, by corporates and local people in South Africa as a, as a Cinderella sport and not a, a mainstream sport. But yet, as a team like ours, that is a South African registered African team that races internationally based in the Netherlands, giving massive amounts of opportunities to riders and then using its success to mobilize people on bicycles so that they can get educated and be free and independent and, and get to school and, and support the elderly and, 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 you know, and, and move through communities is, is incredible. And, and yet we, 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 still, you know, we still struggle to, to get that support since our MTN and Dimension Data days. But as I said, the last year and a half has been, has been difficult for everyone and I think priorities are slightly different. But for sure, we would love a South African partner to, to come on board and support our team and, and the good work that it does. I mean, you must no doubt wish for a multi-year backing from sponsors to avoid the stressful part of the year uh, where, where you have to sit, of course, and effectively secure your spot on the world tour. Yeah, the most amazing thing is, I mean, we, you know, we grew from a third division team to a second division team to the best team in Africa and then took on the rest of the world. And for six years, we've been in the first division, Africa's only team in the first division of cycling. And next year, we have a guaranteed entry into the Tour de France, the biggest sporting event on the planet. You know, super sport and, 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 and the media and the public and the, you know, showcase the, the racing to, the, to, the, to South Africa and across Africa. And yet, um, you know, we, we, we struggle to, to get a South African partner behind us, which is, which is bizarre, I guess. But, um, you know, we still have another year of a, at the highest level in, in world sport it's, it's the returns will be significant for any partner that wants to come on board so so hopefully this will this will help <laughs> well speaking about having another year should it happen that you don't uh, take part next year doug african cycling will be uh, severely affected just elaborate to what extent and how the kubega charity will also be affected so the most beautiful thing is that Quebec is, is so well run. It's such a great organization. Um, it's, it's so well set up okay. and it's got great support. Of course, it, it does get affected by, 
the fact that we aren't there, you know, representing it globally with with our current partners, etc., which is which makes a massive difference to to Kubeka and its impact and and the funding that it can raise, and the stories that it can tell, like Nicholas Lamini. You know, he's such a beacon of hope for so many to show what is possible if you work hard and have great values and 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 get out there. So yes, it will make a big difference. And um, but you know, it won't. The charity won't end. The charity will absolutely continue. But it's just that next level of, of aspiration that this team provides, which, you know, will, you know, potentially might not be there. But we'll keep fighting to make sure that we, we can try and exist. Doug Ryder, awesome speaking to you and all the best ahead of the following year that is coming up. Uh, Doug Ryder, team principal there for Team Kubega's next hashes, uh, Sally and Shahan. Wow, I can't imagine 195,000 bicycles were donated by this charity to those that would also like to take up cycling as a sport. And it's outside of the traditional top three, right? Yeah. Cricket, Lovely. football. I think it's an